shot. They might take for hours to <laughs> Welcome to Schwabi Mob. Schwabi Mob. Let's play Divinity Two Original, original. Sin. Actually, I think it's technically Divinity Original Sin Two. Shut the fuck up! It's Divinity Two Original Sin. Okay, okay. Divinity Two Original Sin Definitive Edition. Gotcha. We'll go with that. Actually, the Divinity Two. I was just giving you a fucking hard time. Oh, yeah, okay. the Definitive Edition. Yeah, we're not playing the original, which I'm sure was only on PC. No, the original Divinity Original Sin is still available on Xbox. What, original? Mm-hmm. I remember Dragon Commander, but that's it for Divinity. You changed my batteries. Okay. cutscene of the game because we kind of already started it but what we're doing is basically there's a wicked witch of the west has um she used source to summon forth the void woken which are a ravenous group of monsters that seek the destruction of all of the world she was arrested shackled and collared and put on this boat with the rest of us and labeled as a quote unquote sorcerer seeking our utter demise and blah 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 her real name is Wendigo uh, we will encounter her a few times not too many she's a bitch she she's is out to die. kill what they call God Woken and while we don't really understand what this is yet um, we technically become God Woken so Fun, fun, fun. Major spoilers right. there for everyone that watch. So this is the adventure with, with Swabby Mob playing Dumbledore and Lord Nexus 12 playing Gandalf the dead. Um, the dead. <laughs> Who also is a big name now. Yes. We're not going to ask that. Fine, I'll tell you how it happened. Jesus Christ. Okay, a lot of potions can go wrong when you start messing around with elf jizz, okay? You make one little mess up, and the next thing you know, not only are you dead, but you also become an elf in the process. <laughs> Damn you, let us. It's gonna crack me up every time I see Gandalf the Dead has looted, blah, has done this. Ooh, a deck of playing cards. A lot of shit. And Dumbledore is over here playing the cards. Can't get rid of the part like the like little kid in that. Nope. They're trying to impress little boys in your school. <laughs> we all know the story about Harry Potter and Gerbil. And off the dead, picked up an ooze barrel. Ow. And Dumbledore is gonna take a nap. Ah, uh, no. Uh, just yeah, I'm laid down in bed. That's where I like you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, we can hear you terminated. You just don't give a shit. Empty. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. We're doing a recording. No. Well, you're gonna fucking play with your nipples like you always do. <laughs> see, see, this is the kind of bullshit I have to put up with. You know what? Like, I'm sorry, but Gandalf does not mess around with little kids. This is more Dumbledore's experience. Not mine. Oh yeah, there we go, my bucket. Gandalf uses his dad for the 
couple doors. That should tell you about my dick side. Pretty much, yeah. And did you pick up persuasion or did I? Um, I did pick up one level. Okay, we'll come persuade the the uh, magister. The magister guard snorts and sniffles as he sleeps. I can boop his <laughs> nose. <laughs> that one man can make such a phlegmy boop. Oh shit! What? I didn't do it. What in Lucian's name? I boop his nose and he decides to kill us. What the fuck? I didn't do nothing. Oh. I did everything. Oh, I'm on fire! <laughs> yeah, run away, you little prisoner, while you think you can. You know what? I love the fact that you're standing in there. Oh shit. Yeah, and I almost was. Strange forces are awake. So thanks. Hey Nexus. Nexus. Wow, did you get a bucket on your head? Why? Oh, <laughs> Gandalf is dead. Dumbledore doesn't want to show his face around little kids, especially on a prisoner barge, because he's afraid of being shaken. Shower. I don't know what could be all green. This door cannot be picked. Break it down. I'll punch it open. Hold on. Hey, you guys. I think just gonna break that door down. Go on, bet. Damn, I can't call down a mosquito swarm. Alright, yeah. I don't think we're gonna break it down. Ooh, another oil barrel. Ah, oh, shit. You know, I don't think Terminated has the patience. Really? really? This oh. game is very slow. Um, I don't have a spell that was able to do this to open this button. No, oh, god damn it, move! Oh. I'm gonna do something yeah. stupid. Move. Open. I, can. I don't have a fireball though. Walking in oil hurts by slowing you down. Are you serious? I can't pick this lock. Theory sucks that much right now? What the hell? Normally it's higher. Really do. Did you expect a needle? Yeah. I was. I am carrying three barrels is a hundred and eighty carry weight. It's more than you can physically carry in this game at this point. I get, I get a little silly. I got it. Alright, Oh, bread. Yeah, bread. I should have pulled Um... Throw item... Here? Here? I already, I'd already Locking moved on this door. GG. Boom, I'm solid. Yeah. I was, I was already, oh, pocket knife. But, uh, what Nexus doesn't know is I have a fireball scroll and he better run faster than mine. <laughs> I'm running in <laughs> slow motion. Action movie roll run. Oh wait, what's the sheep say? Shaking her fluffy coat. What does the sheep say? Fresh meat. <laughs> nice. Plump. Banded like a chicken's leg too. What the fuck? 
I don't ask the questions about the sheep. That may is so, but look at the flies. Bad wisdom. Flies know when a creature will die. With two shakes of her stumpy tail, the sheep turns away from you to pull. Fuck you. Can we kill the sheep? Gemini, why did you want to do something like that? XP. <laughs> we, we melted that sheep. Your sheep had a bad day. You'll find out what that sheep did. Oh, a grinning skull. What do you do? Not very chatty fellow, not very chatty fellow, are you? No. Smart, Dumbledore. I am... I am ransacking this place. <laughs> Stealth mode engaged. I didn't mean to do in stealth mode, but whatever. What a well of knowledge this tomb is. Dallas is such a dear lending it to me. <laughs> what? Sneaking. Yo, Magister, Yo, Magister. sup, bitch? I want to put a bullet in your head. I mean, an arrow. I mean, there's no bullet in your arrow. Fire. <laughs> In the meantime, you'll, you'll find him on the other side of this di- No. Dallas. Index finger. My word. Oh, well, I'm sure. And your life will- Ooh. Is he? Oh, well. Some problems simply sort themselves, don't they? She frowns and peers at you closely, concern clearly etched upon her face. <laughs> hmm. Delusions such as these are rare, but not unheard of. I recommend a cup of mulled wine and another night's sleep. Just take it easy. Why, for my peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I won't hold it against you. <laughs> Promise. My, aren't we a meek little lamb? Perhaps I needn't have called you at all. Though it does look darling on you. So Can... let's just leave it on, shall we? Because to answer your question, what this collar does is this. It makes you want for your own. Hmm. Kill all the managers now, or wait until... Good God. There's, there's been a murder here! Good God. Well, you're not listening. That's enough. Never thought you'd end up a prison guard. Oh, yeah, your sister Bill. Snake eyes. She chuckles. I bet that's just what they'll look like. Rolling dice. No, gives me post two armor. Look that comment, you dumb shit. <laughs> it gives me two armor. Your mama sucked my dick. Oh. 
Oh, I said your mama sucked my dick. Hey. It's just more, more tags that we can put on. I swear to God. More tags, more clickbait. Gemini, <laughs> we need to make this an X rated thing because I swear to God it's about to turn into a snuff. I'm literally going to do shit out of it. Oh my God. It's a good thing the mixer stream is set to 17 plus. She eyes you suspiciously. Not the future, no. But YouTube, I can I really read care. the past in flesh. Just, be for kids. just like you. And I'm quite good at it, too. Hmm. I could lick your arm and tell you how you spent the night before last. This bitch is thinking Shall about I? licking my damn arm. <laughs> oh, please, why not? She looks at you in surprise when you bear an arm of bone. Oh, shit. My. Guess I'll have to find out the memory from Marrow, won't I? She gives your arm a vigorous stroke of the tongue, efficient like a cat grooming. Hmm. What the fuck? You were in a cellar with other sorcerers, watching, staring at them, hoping that none would stare back. You of flesh, or do you rather desire the pleasures of the flesh? Those that have eluded you for so long. <laughs> she pats you on the shoulder. There, there, don't you worry, darling. Your secret's safe with me. I don't lick and tell. Don't worry, honey. It she looks you up and down with the merest tint of a coin. Never say never, though. his eyes at the Magister's warning, the man named Ifan beckons again. He leans in and adjusts your collar with a sharp tug, balancing its weight so it no longer presses unpleasantly on your neck. He winks. Pinches less that way, right? Hocking a phlegmy gobbit in your general direction, the sullen Magister settles back to his task of glowering at Ifan. And now, you. We used to know each other, more's the pity. I was his commander many, many, many moons ago. Isn't that right, Vic? Standing far back from Ifan, the tight-faced magister draws one finger across his throat in an elaborate fashion, but says nothing. Ifan grins, flashing pointed white teeth. Same as he was at 14 years old. Only difference is somebody gave him a bigger sword and now he's Johnny Big Pants. Long story. Maybe I'll tell you about it in the jaw. Away from interested parties. Okay, we have returned now. The dead man. Did you keep Finn, the is it? Viewers company. With him. And I wouldn't put a man down without good reason. He glances over at Magister Victor who's staring back at him with pointed intensity. Damn shame, sheer annoyance isn't reason enough. The joy, I've heard a lot. Nothing good. No surprise there, since Bishop wonder if we'll get to meet the ringmaster himself. Easy now. I might think the same, but Vic here will blow a blood vessel if he hears you talking like that. Firing about over there. You, Elf, what's your name? Oh, don't mind him. Vix just got a bee in his bonnet. And that bee is me. <laughs> name. Magister Victor looks at you suspiciously, then scrawls something illegible down in a tiny notebook. 
He scowls at you as he stows the notebook back in his voluminous robes. Away with you, at once. Ifan performs an elaborate pantomime of keeping quiet, one finger in front of his lips as he leans back against the wall. This slop was food. I've seen more appetizing things coming out of plague stricken pigs. Man, that guy's a dick. There's, I can't there's wait nothing for else him to be killed. Your Majesty, turnips and water are all I was given. Meanwhile, the Magisters feast on honeyed meat behind this very wall. <gasps> the indignity. Hmm. As soon as the Inquisitor gets here, we'll hang you right over the side of this ship. The lizard looks you up and down. Like a farmer would a fetching horse. All of a sudden, he grips you firmly by the chin, with the intent of inspecting your teeth. There's some discoloration, as well as a rather disconcerting lack of tongue and gums, but I've seen worse. After all, one can't expect to find prime merchandise on a squalid wow. ship like this. Now then, to business. You will answer me three questions. The first one is this. Can you cook? And of course, a cook who can't taste is about as useful as a dog in a chess game. On to the second question. Can you knit, weave? In short, uh, tailor? Wow. wow. Yes, I can tell from your vagabond chic, a bag is as good as a shirt kind of style. I shouldn't be getting my hopes up. <laughs> On then to my final query. Have you the ability to administer the upkeep of one's personal appearance? The delicate art of cosmetics is what I'm after. What century is this more more correct for you? <laughs> Just as I thought. That explains what's besieging my nostrils. So, three questions asked, three questions answered. Let's evaluate. As per your own testimony, you have the taste buds of a dung beetle, the fashion sense of a monkey in a clown suit, and your personal hygiene reminds one of a carcass rotting in the sun. That won't do at all, see? I'm sad to say I must deny you the opportunity to be my slave. Ever so sorry. I know, I know, but you just don't have what it takes. A good slave's made still. Own your skills, and one day you may just qualify for a position in a lesser household than mine. Magister, my name was Gil. <laughs> and there's, well, Gil here is a dwarf. I'm looks... Gil. He looks like a dwarf to me. There's, there's I don't see no pointed ears. Turnips and water are and all he's about I the same height as as this dude. I've never died oh, damn it! Let me. Less than a dozen there we go. He raises an eyebrow as you approach, but doesn't open his eyes. Listen up, boy. You hear that? This 
Shep, of course. A wave of sound washes over you. The unintelligible chatter of your shipmates, the groaning of wood from floor to ceiling, the boom, crash and crackle of waves around you, complaints from the sea itself. And? <laughs> Sick as a leper's cat. From the state of it, I'd say she's being cared for by a bunch of beardless babes who never loved anyone but their own mums. Beardless babes. But there's more. Listen close. There now, just like that. Squeak! Aha! His eyes snap open as his countenance breaks into an expression of joy. One great paw claps you on the back, the other catches you before you lose your footing. There. You heard that, didn't you? I knew it. I knew it. Aye, this is good news, boy. Good news. Hmm. No, you beautiful idiot. That wasn't any rat. It was the wheel. Squeaks whenever the helmsman jerks it clockwise, which means we're heading east. Pardon my beard. That means if we've been travelling for... Yes, only 10.34 nautical miles to Fort Joy. Damn. Um, I want to know ah, why. Your eyes as well as ears, eh? You'll go far, mate. Even here. Beast, is that good? Yeah, Beast, if we weren't doing a run where we can only have two people, or the two of us, we would totally have you in the party, man. Okay, why is he so excited about Fort Joy? But, see, here's, here's my thing. Dumbledore, <laughs> you get excited about playing with teens and little kids. Me! I'm the one that sends midgets on quests. This guy is guy the world. after just such a quest. Eh, no indeed, boy. But that ain't my final destination. The fuck? The dwarf okay, falls back, back from the table things. and strip. That'll be all. Thank you kindly, boy. He continues stroking. They don't care about us. They don't care. Hey, a random elf. Hmm. He reaches out and examines your bandages, rubbing them between his fingers. Fascinating. He sits back and returns to his book, flicking quickly from page to page, completely oblivious to your presence. Hmm? What purpose did that serve? Was that a greeting? Was it... Oh! Oh dear. I seem to have crossed some cultural taboo. How... difficult. You have my sincere... Perhaps I should demand the same from those red-cloaked humans. They laid their hands on me more than <laughs> once. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Take this book, for example. I understand all of it, and yet none of it makes sense. It is simultaneously too detailed and insufficient. I know the beginning of this tale and the end, but I am rather missing the middle. Tell me, what do you know of your... our world's history? Wow, all four of my options are present. Holy shit, yeah, that's amazing. You, d you have seen a lot in the last couple centuries, I'm sure. Oh, 
Go with Mystic. I have no interest in that. Your books are too full of it already. Damn. No. I want to know about the Celestial. I want to know about your gods. This text tells me that they created all creatures, but nothing of what came before. Where did these gods come from? Who are their people? Where are the others of their kind? <sighs> of course you don't have any useful information. Now please, run along. No amount of... I do. Seems void woke and dog your heels like a shadow. That's no way to live, is it? You'll see. We're gonna help you. You head on in now. Williams will She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. There are others whose lives must end. Good God! The woman's mad! Crossbowman, take the shot. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. It means your Ooh. journey draws to a close. Do stick around for its finale, though. She reaches for her collar and simply. I'm just about to create a scene. So do a man quickly. If she. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. Take the shot, General. <laughs> oh boy. So when can we learn Source when Blast? <laughs> oh, what the fuck that was. That was Source What's Blast, happening? according to what that just said. No time for chatter! We've got to get out of here! Well, the fact that there's all these intestines everywhere. Sure. I love how everyone always ends up in intestines. It's so weird seeing so much of this screen for inventory. Usually two ones. I'm a wizard. I'm a wizard. No, you're a pedophile. Oh. Gandalf Each is. their own, I know. No, I'm not Gandalf supposed to criticize you about your little boys, and you're not supposed to criticize about me and my half -life. Yeah. But right. I will say this. Of all of the modern-day magic-based movies, a lot of them seem to have something to do with children. Yeah, I've noticed that. Very interesting. I forgot the key was in here. I'm going up the stairs, I'm not sure. Alright, I'm in a looted room. Real quick. Fuck, I didn't... Why would I want to sit on this? Like, I really like how immersive really we like can get in this game, where it's like, hey, we can, um, we can sit in stools and chairs and lay in beds. God, it annoys me sometimes when we're trying to loot. Hi, Teresa. And now Teresa enters the Let's Play <laughs> as commentary. I told you last year you wanted to, you didn't answer. Did you pick up your... No, it's not. No. no did she just say she's off on Stardew? How do you give my penis to the dog? Kinky. <laughs> the Magister lies on the floor. 
That's kind of fucked up, Jason. Alright, I'm heading up upstairs. The hatch is blocked. I need to find another way. Alright. Hey. hey. That is not all I care about. Hey, Gandalf. I care about things other than my fucking penis. Hey, Gandalf. There's something you might like right there. You've heard the boss. Great God, something's pounding on the hull! Hey, Teresa. I'm on fire. Love you. Do you have the fucking key? Is that the key that happens after you fuck, or is that the key that happens before? Or is this the one that you have, like, a pee gas? Please don't. I feel like that might be the infection worse. Into the stone mark door I go. <laughs> Press your palm against the door to open it. The wood fit doesn't <laughs> budge. The door groans. Something's breaking through! Oh, what in the hells are those things? Ah! Oh, I just died. Should probably go get it out. I just walked in the dust fog like a genius. Hmm? Teresa, I can't lift heavy things. Is it over 20 pounds? I'm a genius. Yes. Nice. I know it may not seem that heavy to you, Teresa, but I'm seriously not allowed to lift anything heavy. Especially within the first 24 hours of having a teaspoon. Okay, if it pops into the mess, it's not my fault. a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. We assume some escaped and broke their collars. Their vile magic lured the Voidwoken. All who were aboard now presumed dead. Yours faithfully into eternity. What? High Judge Orivan. High Judge Orivan. Sounds like an old fuck. Alright, and we have now entered the beginning of Port Joy, which we will call it here. Okay. So that was Divinity, or let's play Divinity, up, or, uh, Divinity 2, Original Sin, and Div uh, Definitive Edition, Co-op, The Tutorial episode Edition, two, or Episode 1. 
stay tuned for episode two, where Dumbledore discovers he's a pedophile. Again. And hopefully I can be resurrected when we respawn, because I accidentally stepped in death fog. Gandalf's into halflings, he's into midgets, okay? He likes, like, midget orgies and gangbangs. Dumbledore is into little kids that haven't reached the age of consent yet. Apparently, it seems so something. Wanted me alive. Okay. Well, until next time. Hey, did you pick up your staff that I sent down? No. Why not? <laughs> There you go, Gandalf. Now you're a wizard. You know what? I, you can dual wield wands and I'm in these stabs. That seems fair to me. At least for now, I'll use, use wands. I'm sure eventually I'll want to swap. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and just hide that helmet. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Schwab Mob, and I will catch you guys next. God damn, I forget my own clothes. I forget my closing. Forget my closing. Send these to Double Door. Anyway, either way, bye guys. Any last words, Nexus? There, you got two wands in your inventory now. Okay, I'll check them out.